Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna, and I'm so happy to have you. Today is a beautiful day in New York City, so I thought I'd pick up the camera. It's a Friday, and I'm working from home right now, so I just finished out a meeting, and then I have another one in about 15 minutes because this one ran a little long. So I'm going to do my five-minute makeup routine. I think I'm going to do like a TikTok video or something because we have a little bit of natural light in here, which is beautiful. And then during my lunch, I have some fun errands that I'm going to run. So I haven't decided if I want to go to the post office yet or to just bring the stuff home with me when I go back to New Jersey tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, but I might have to go to the post office and then I have a couple other fun spots that I want to hit. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my fashion, styling, haul, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna quickly get ready because it's almost 10.30 and I woke up super early, did a hair mask a couple days ago and I feel like my hair is still like super smooth from it. So that's a huge plus because it was easy for me to style this morning, but now we need to figure out the face. So I just got dressed. I'm squatted down because I did not take out the box that I normally prop my tripod on because it's a little short, but I'm dressed and ready to go. I had a quick little lunch and then I just put on this outfit to go and run my errands quickly. I'm only going to two different places. So I decided to go for an all black base. The sweater is from Reset. Jeans are top shop. They're the Jamie jeans. They're like skinny jeans. We have my naked fashion boots and naked fashion coat that I'm obsessed with. My beanie is from H&M, it's like $9 and I think they still have it so I can link it for you guys. I also saw a cashmere option on there too and I think it's like $25 so I'll link that too. And then my YSL sunset bag. So the only other thing is my tote bag that I'm gonna bring with me so I don't have to get any shopping bags. And this is the full look. Just came out of Sephora, kind of struck out. I wanted to get the Summer Fridays lip balm because I'm running out and the Westman Atelier blush, but they didn't have it in stock, but they had it um, available in stock this morning for pickup. So I should have just done that before I went there, but I was like, it's fine. I'm just gonna go in person anyway. Um, but that didn't end up working out, but we are on our way to Anina Bing. So I'm back from running all of my errands and I just had a meeting. So I'm gonna quickly show you everything I picked up while I was out. It actually ended up being a lot, which I'm not super proud of, but two of the things were planned and I'll just run you guys through everything. So we'll start with, I went to the Nespresso store and stocked up on our double espresso Chiaro pods. These are Amanda's favorite and she loves them so much that I didn't get to try one. So I think I'm gonna make another afternoon coffee and try those. And then we also have, so I went into Sephora and they didn't have the um, product that I wanted on the shelving, but they did have it in the back. So thank you, John, for going to get this for me. But this is the Nudes, Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronzer Color. So you can use this on your face, your lips, and your eyes, I think. And this is the color Sunkissed. I heard about this product like so long ago. I think it was like maybe two years ago. And I decided to pick it up because I saw a video of Mary Phillips doing her own makeup. And this was on top of the blush that she used. So they didn't have the blush that I wanted in stock, but I think they offer it online. So I'm gonna order that with the rest of my gift card. A Sephora gift card is just like the most amazing thing sometimes just because you're buying stuff that you need slash want slash want to try, but you don't have to pay for it, which is amazing. Then as you guys saw, I picked up the Anina Bing hoodie. I've been wanting this for a really long time. And sadly, I know you guys are probably not going to be surprised by this, but I am selling my green one because everybody knows that I don't wear color. I have like two items of color in my wardrobe and I didn't know who I was trying to fool when I got the green one, but... I did actually wear it a good amount of times. Like I would say probably more than 10 times, like 15 or 20. So I did get a good amount of use out of it, but it is in fantastic condition. So I've had people offering me like $45 for it. And I'm like, guys, I'm sorry, but I cannot let it go for that cheap. But the idea is to use the money from that sale toward this sweatshirt just to help with the cost. Because I think this one is 
$1.99 and there was a woman in the store who was also making a purchase and it was a pair of jeans and those were $2.50 and then they saw me like checking out next to her. She's like, oh, I love that hoodie. Like, do you know how much they are? And was asking the sales associate and she was like, um, they're one ninety nine, and she was like, "Oh," and I was like, "Ma'am, you're buying two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars jeans, like potato, potato." But I don't know. I guess it is kind of ridiculous. But I was like, "Yeah, I get a ton of use out of them. Like, I already have two other ones that I literally wear to death, and they're just really good quality." So I don't know why I felt like I had to defend myself and make a case, but I did. And then the last things that I picked up were from Mango, but I'm actually going to include this in my Zara haul that I'm filming next week. So. These are gonna remain a surprise. I'm sorry guys, but really good stuff. I have to try the jeans on to make, okay. It's not like I'm showing you what they are, but I have to try on the pair of jeans because I don't know what size I am in Mango. I think I have a pair of denim from them or I did and I think I got rid of them. So I don't remember what size they were. I think I got them like three years ago anyway. So who even knows? Um, and I'll try those on before I film the haul just to make sure that they fit. So that's everything that I picked up on my errands. I have to pack in a little bit to go home. I'm trying to get everything together so that I could take a train home at like eight and get home at nine, um, just so that I'm home and I wake up tomorrow already at home and I can go to the post office and do all the things that I have to do. So that's the plan. Originally, I was going to sleep here and then just go back really early in the morning, but I don't feel like rushing and we might be leaving earlier now because of the traffic and everything. So. I think we're just gonna make a fat coffee and get packing and get everything together. Obviously I'm still on the clock for work. It's around 4.30 now and I have to crack on with work for like another hour. So once that's finished, I'll pack, get everything ready and I will be heading home to New Jersey. Oh my God, wait, I have one more package to show you. Okay, so we have this pretty little box from Cezanne and I meant to get a Sharpie when I was out and I forgot to get one because every time I'm showing you guys um, like packages or like boxes, sorry, <laughs> I didn't think it would be that loud. Um, I always need to color out the address and even when I'm reusing packaging for shipping my Poshmark orders, I have to color out the old label and right now I've been using like a black pen and it's just not working. So I was going to get a Sharpie but I forgot to stop at the bodega. So we're gonna just put our hand over it for now. But how pretty is this box? I mean, I don't expect anything less. Guys, packaging for them is just like a little feminine dream. It also smells really good in here. I wonder what that is. Um, so I picked up a pair of their black trousers because Avery said that they do amazing trousers and I keep trying to find like multiple options for you guys because of my mango trousers just being like the best things that I ever added into my wardrobe. Um, and so these are a little bit of a higher price point, but better quality, I guess you would say, than wearing a pair that's like only 50 or 60 bucks. So I got the Saison Lulu trouser in black and looks like the waist is going to come on really nicely. It has a zip closure on the side, which I actually really like because you still get these button details in the front and it has belt loops, which that's the one gripe that I have about my mango ones. Like if I find a good pair that fits just as well and has belt loops, like I will get rid of them. I never thought that I would actually say that, but it is true. Like I do kind of want to wear a belt with them sometimes and tuck something into it and I can't with those. So Really, really nice length. I actually might try these on for you guys quickly now just because I'm so curious to see how they fit. And they feel honestly like really luxurious. So let's try them on quick. Oh my gosh, you guys. I actually have the chills right now and a piece of clothing probably should not give you the chills, but these fit so well. They are perfect on my waist. I love the two little buttons here as I showed you guys before when I unboxed them. The pockets have a really nice lining in them. I love that they have the zip detail, the belt loops, the length of them. Like they are a little bit longer, but that's how my mango ones are. So I can wear like a heel or a platform sneaker and still have them to be full length. But like, I think that these are a little bit higher than I would want to spend on a pair of pants like this. They're 180, I believe. I have to double check though, but 
honestly, with the amount of times that I wore my mango trousers and the amount of times that I'm going to wear these, I fully, fully urge you guys to spend money on really good quality pieces, especially ones like this that you will wear a ton if you dress with the same style as I do. But I'm obsessed with these. I am absolutely keeping them and I will definitely get them in more colors. Thank you, Avery, if you're watching this vlog for suggesting these to me. But like, I'm just completely obsessed. I'm easily bringing these to my trip to Europe when I start packing because, oh my gosh. Finally finished with work for the day. It feels so great to be done with another week. And since I've spoken to you guys, I've just been walking around in my Cezanne trousers. I'm not gonna take these off. I think I'm actually gonna wear them home just as a nice little travel outfit, but we'll see. Cause I think I wanna bring them to Philly for either my daytime or my nighttime outfit, but I haven't decided yet. And then I also did some online purchases or just one. I ended up getting the blush that I wanted to get from Sephora that they didn't have in stock today. So I'm very excited for that because it's a good combination with this nude sticks one. And honestly, I feel like I could pair this with my rose ink blushes too, to just put it over the top and make it look a little bit more bronzy if I want to do that. But this I think is also a really good color to wear as like a monochrome blush eyeshadow lip kind of look. I'm excited to bring that and use it this weekend. And that's the only thing that I ordered. So I'm just sitting here like wearing all my new stuff and wanting to try all my new stuff. And I made another coffee. It's like 5.15, it's 5.21. And I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done this, but we have the new pods. Another new thing that we're trying, the double espresso Chiaro. And you guys saw how I made it in the little clip, but I'm gonna try it with you guys. I only put one cap full of hazelnut, which is something that I might have to try more of just because these are a double espresso, double espresso like roasty. I forget what the note of the taste is, but it's supposed to be strong. Oh my gosh, it's very strong. I need a little bit more sweetness. Now I know why Amanda puts so much sugar in her coffees in the morning. And it's because we have to balance out the roastiness. But honestly, I think this is the fun part about making coffee at home is that you kind of have to play around with the different ingredients and the ratios of everything. And you just make your own recipe. So I just added two more capsules in here. We'll see how it is. It's also like not that cold and there's still ice in it. Oh yeah. Really, really good. So much better than before. And I think the only thing I have to get to kind of complete my at-home coffee making kit is ice cubes that have like, a, they're like plastic, but there's water on the inside and you freeze them and you can reuse them and it makes it so that they don't melt in your coffee and like make it watered down. So I think that's the only thing else I'd want to do because you know, I drink my coffee all day long for like 12 hours. So <laughs> I definitely need to get those. But I also made my packing list and I'm going to start putting everything together. I've also started to make my packing list for my trip coming up next week because I realized that it's coming up on Thursday and I'm like, how did that happen? So I'm just trying to like get everything sorted out like before I leave but I do have to bring my laundry at some point so that I can have like a full stock of all of my capsule wardrobe so I know what to bring but one thing at a time I don't know how this clip like fully crimped my hair no more putting her hair in a little twirly whirly clip because this is what happens okay one thing at a time we're gonna go pack for Philly I'm gonna put on a little vlog I was watching Emma Hill's channel because she has so many videos that I haven't seen 
this one is about high street cashmere brands and which one is the best. So definitely interested in that. So we'll continue watching that as I start to put everything in my suitcase. I am all packed up and dressed to head back to New Jersey. I'm going to show you guys my little travel outfit. I'm already wearing my Anina Bang hoodie. I tucked it into my bra just so that it hits at the top of my trousers that I'm already also wearing because I'm obsessed with them. And then I have on my New Balance 2002Rs. And then this coat is actually on my Poshmark, but I have to bring it home because my sister is doing my whole like packing of the orders and shipping of the orders. So I'm going to wear this home just so I don't have to pack it. But um, I think it looks cute with the outfit. I like that the hood is hanging out the back. Um, I just have way too many coats, so I have to get rid of it, which is super sad because I actually really, really like it. But as per usual, I'll link my Poshmark for you guys just in case. Um, but we have a somewhat cleaned off dresser over here. I'm going to take that green clip with me that's on this little tray. Um, but then that's all my stuff over there packed and ready to go. So I am going to leave this vlog off here because I am, well, I'm actually unsure if I'm going to vlog for this weekend. If anything, I will take some clips to include in next week's vlog so you guys can see what we got up to in Philly. But um, I don't know if I will be like fully picking up the camera and chatting to you guys in between events because we're only going for one night. So it's a pretty quick trip. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you comment and like, subscribe, all the things. I'm so grateful for every single one of you and I hope to see you in my next video.